Hello, I am Mayor Cherry Fitch and I'm here today with our Chief of Police, Rick Hawthorne. And we're here to talk to you about our uninvited guests and how we have become a bear community and the best way to live with our new neighbors. Chief Hawthorne, why are we seeing bears in our city? The simple, the simple answer is food. Uh, the bears will go to areas where there's a lot of food um, and with the, with the Gulf Breeze neighborhoods, um, and bird feeders, cat, um, dog food outside, the grilling, um, it's just bringing the bears. Okay, so it's best then if we make sure that we pick up anything outside that is reminiscent of food. Correct. Um, to get the, rid of the bears, a um, couple of simple things, um, get rid of their food source. Um, the bear's diet contains of 80% plants, fruits, and nuts, 15% insects, ants, termites, and 5% meat, possums, uh, armadillos. And what are some of the steps that, um, that people can take besides just removing the food or in addition to that? Well, try to feed your pets indoors if possible, or at least bring their food dishes in even um, when they're empty. Uh, they have a great smell and can uh, smell for a mile away. Uh, remove or modify the bird and wildlife feeders uh, to keep the bears out of that. And then properly harvest your ripe fruit and vegetables. Uh, bears love that type of food, um, so we need to get them off the vines. And then for the smokers um, and the grillers, um, clean your, uh, clean your uh, grill uh, with some type of degreasing detergent and then secure it in a, a safe manner. And of course, add um, bear resistant um, um, hardware to your trash cans. All right, and that, those are great suggestions and manageable. So are there any other things that you can suggest to us that will help keep the bears away? Yeah, for your yard, um, electric fencing to protect your gardens. Um, if you had an area that you keep the garbage cans in, um, create an unwelcome mat uh, by driving finishing nails into a sheet of anchored plywood to keep the bears away from a specific area. You can add motion detectors, um, anything that might scare the bear. Uh, one, one thing that works uh, real well are Halloween motion devices. Um, when that scary <laughs> creature starts moving and screaming, the bears will typically run away. Well, actually, that's a great suggestion. And uh, we love Halloween in Gulf Breeze. What do I do if I actually see a bear myself? I've not had that experience yet. Uh, the first thing you wanna do is not play dead. Um, and don't try to run from a bear. Bears are fast. They run up to 35 miles an hour and they can climb 100 foot up a tree in 30 seconds. Um, you need to back away slowly with your arms raised, speak in a calm and assertive voice, and avoid direct eye contact if possible. Can I actually scare a bear away? You can. Um, anything that makes a lot of noise and is loud, um, a whistle, air horn, pots, pans, um, you just want to make sure that the bear has an escape route before you start making that type of noise to scare him. Uh, make sure he can run the opposite way of where you're at and the only exit for him is not right behind you. And I guess on the other side of this, what is the long-term effect on the bears um, that continue to easily find food? There's, a, there's several one of them. One new one I found out is one of the things that will happen when they start eating uh, this type of uh, food uh, with all the sugar and everything, their bear, their teeth will start rotting. Um, and so then they're just stuck on having to eat garbage, um, which means they'll never leave. Um, but they're also, their, their survival rate um, drops because they lose the fear of people, um, which will cause FWC to move, remove them. Also, you know, eat, possibly being shot illegally. Um, so those are a couple of the things that will happen. Will the black bears um, attack us? Florida black bears aren't typically aggressive. They're large, they're strong, and they can react when provoked. And that's typically when something has happened with a black bear. Um, fatal black bear attacks on humans are very rare. And about one black bear out of a million will attack a human in a predatory manner. 
are, is there more that we can do, you know, as a community or as individuals as far as managing to live with good neighbors? Yeah, the first thing would be make sure if you see a bear, bears in your backyard, call FWC at 1-888-404-3922. Uh, and give them the information. Uh, they ask specific information. If you call the dispatch number the, for the police department and tell us there's a bear, we don't know the specific questions they're gonna ask. So it's real important that you call that number um, so they can ask questions because that's how they categorize the bear, um, whether he's harmless or if he's getting to where he might be some type of trouble. Okay, all right, um, thank you. And what, I believe there's a good website that people can do, go to. Yeah, if you Google FWC Bears, um, it'll take you right to the that area, um, or I think it's FWC.com. I guess another thing too is, well, you started this experience in 2018, I think, and had the lunch and learn classes for our <laughs> for our citizens at that point. Uh, but the bears just seemed to like us. So uh, we want all of you to be careful and be safe. And also, if you go to fwc.com, the literature there is amazing. And it, you'll, you'll learn a lot about not just bears, but also a lot of other things. Yeah, and, and one last thing is just always be aware if you're going out at night, dawn or dusk, you know, bears are around. But we have a lot of other uh, critters that can cause a lot of harm. Um, we have coyotes, um, hawks, um, and rattlesnakes. Um, and this time of the year they're moving. Um, so be aware whenever you go outside, check around, because we found, we've been called the house where the rattlesnakes are sitting on the porch right by the sliding glass door. Um, luckily, the person looked down and saw them because they're curled up and ready to go. Okay. Um, and you're scaring them just like you would do a bear um, if a bear was in the backyard. So make noise, uh, pay attention uh, to your surroundings and um, hopefully that will keep any bad encounters uh, with any kind of critter um, away. All right, thank you very much. Okay, Chief, and I know that your office has ordered more information and that we will have pamphlets available for any of our residents who would like to get the information on paper here at City Hall, at the police station, and at the community center. So please be sure and help yourselves to that. And then again, call that FWC 1-888-404-3922 number because that's the way that they can actually start tracking our neighborhood bears. And don't forget the air horns you can get at City Hall. Oh, that's right. Okay. Let us know if you have any other questions. We'll be happy to help and we'll keep you updated. Mm -hmm.